Hi, I'm Josh, and if you're watching this, I don't have to tell you that having asthma can make it tough to keep up with your friends. Like yesterday, I was saying, man, I wish there was a way to breathe easy. What the heck? Who are you? No, what are you? Did somebody say breathies? I'm a breathies. Barney breathies, actually. I'm part of the breathies bunch. I help kids with asthma have more fun, enjoy life, and learn how to handle asthma better. Okay, sure. Don't worry. It's not like I'm a purple dinosaur or something really scary. I'm here to help you and invite you to join the Breathies Bunch. Um, this will be fun? You bet. In fact, you may even learn some new ways to breathe easy. Okay, how are you going to do this? Well, I have a friend who's going to help us. I like to call him Mr. Announcer Man, or Ma'am for short. Uh, thanks, Barney. Perhaps we should just keep it Mr. Announcer Man. Yes, ma'am, er, Mr. Announcer Man. So let's get started, and we'll both help to show you how to breathe easier with asthma, Josh. Asthma can be controlled with just a bit of effort from you, Josh. You know how an asthma attack can make it seem like you're breathing through a straw? One way to avoid attacks is to watch out for triggers. A trigger is something that sets off asthma, kind of like a flea bite sets a dog off to scratching. I know some more triggers, too. Like, when I have a cold, and I'm allergic to cats and dogs. I know kids who are allergic to some foods, or hairspray, or perfume. All of those and more things can trigger an attack. Or, if your uncle smokes, tell him to stop. Because <laughs> it'll make you sick. Cold weather can do it, too. Even just having a bad, stressful day can start asthma. Like when the internet's down and you can't play games. But there's hope and help. We call it the Breathe's Three Steps to Breathe Easy program. Step one, learn to take your medicine properly. We'll show you what we mean in a second. Step two, do your breathing exercises exactly the way your doctor showed you. I bet you remember those, don't you, Josh? I do. And I can show you! Sit up straight in a chair. Close your eyes. Concentrate on breathing real slowly, like this. Always do this if it's getting hard to breathe. Step three. Use your peak flow meter. It measures the air in your lungs and tells you how well you're breathing. It's like an early warning system that tells you when you're about to have an asthma attack, even before you can feel it. Then you can get ahead by taking your medicine to reduce the effects of asthma. Attach the mouthpiece first. Each end is a different size, so use the one that best fits your mouth. Make sure the arrow is at the lowest setting and stand up straight. Now put the meter in your mouth. You want to close your mouth around the mouthpiece, but don't put your tongue in there. <laughs> Take a deep breath and blow as hard and fast as you can. Now that was as easy as first grade math, wasn't it? It's a good idea to record your readings in your Breathe's Bunch logbook. And don't forget the cool colored arrows. If your peak flow is in the green zone, you're clean and green. It's cool. If it's in the yellow, your asthma is becoming active and you may have to take medicine a bit more often. And if it's in the red zone, see the school nurse or have your parents call the doctor right away. Next, Barney is going to tell us why taking your medicine is fun. Okay, maybe not that much fun, but you got to admit, this nebulizer does look like something that would dock to the space station. The nebulizer turns your asthma medicine into a cloud that you can breathe. How cool is that? How do you do it? Easy. Put your DeVilbus compressor on a desk or table so you can reach it while you're sitting down. Make sure there's nothing pushed against these vents. Ask a parent or adult to plug it in for you. Now, while they get it ready, wash your hands. Yes, with soap and water. Now that you're clean and green to go, take the plastic tubing that looks like a fat piece of spaghetti and push it into the little spike thing. Must you use so many technical terms, ma'am? Anyway, that's where the air comes out. Next, take the transporter pod nebulizer we showed you before. Make sure your mom or dad cleaned it too. Insert the small piece into your nebulizer, then screw on the cap. 
Alert, alert. Your nebulizer may look a bit different than this one, but they all work pretty much the same way. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Now ask your mom or dad for the medicine your doctor gave you. Medicine goes through this hole in the top. This is called the mouthpiece. It fits on top of the whole nebulizer. Just attach it by pushing gently straight down. So, it's like the king of the nebulizers. Exactly! Put the other end of the tubing on the bottom of the nebulizer, making sure you don't turn the nebulizer upside down, or you'll make a mess worse than when the pillow fight pillows exploded. Then comes the tricky part. Turn your compressor on and put the mouthpiece in your mouth between your teeth. Keep your mouth closed and breathe through your mouth. You may want to use a nose clip when you start, kind of like you're swimming. But soon you won't need it. Just sit and breathe slowly, deeply, through your mouth, in a relaxed way. Don't take the mouthpiece out when you need to breathe out. This may seem awkward at first, but you'll get the hang of it quickly. Another way to use your nebulizer is with a face mask. Instead of using the mouthpiece, just attach the mask to the top of the nebulizer, then place it over your mouth and nose. You can hold it to your face or strap it on. Breathe the same way, in and out through your mouth. Kinda makes Josh look like a fighter pilot. I'll figure out how to do this easily with just a little practice. You may want to watch this DVD again with your mom or dad. It's a great way to learn stuff that will help your asthma. Fancy, more of me. The cutest breathies of the bunch. Here's a cool thing to do. Give your parents the instruction guide and make them read it. It's about time you gave an adult some homework, isn't it? That guide will teach them how to clean your DeVilbus compressor nebulizer system. And you can even give them a test to make sure they know how to clean it and change the filter. So, now that you're learning how to cope with your asthma, here are some important tips to help you better handle it and enjoy life more. First, make sure your asthma action plan is in place. This is a great tool, once completed, to help stop asthma attacks before they get out of control. You can find the form for this plan on the Breathe's Bunch website. Then, write everything down in your Breathe's Bunch logbook, like the time and date of each treatment. Then you'll know when your next one is due. And regular attention to treatments really does make a difference. While you're having a treatment, you don't just have to sit there and be bored. Sure, I can read a book, watch a DVD or a TV, or study for my big exam. Or you can check out the Breathe Sponge website, which is very cool because it has great asthma information, plus some fun games, and best of all, me and all of my Breathe buddies. And one important thing, while you're doing your treatment, don't rush it. Chill. And plan how you're going to do it. You may have to get up a few minutes early before school, for example, but it's worth it because taking your time with your treatment really, really helps keep your asthma under control. Once you get the hang of it, using your DeVilbus compressor nebulizer won't take much work at all. And the results can mean a lot. You'll sleep better. No more coughing and wheezing at 3 a.m. You won't have to miss school. You'll be able to run and play. Yeah, I'll be able to do all the stuff that makes it cool to be a kid. I'll be the boss of my asthma, not the other way around. Ha, asthma, you're not the boss of me. Not that I want to sound like a <clears throat> grown-up, but you have a choice, Josh. You can complain about having asthma, or you can use your DeVilbus compressor nebulizer, take your medicine, and feel great. Thanks, Barney, and thanks, uh, ma'am. You've really been a big help, and it's been really cool. Well, see you around. My mom will be home soon, and I don't want her to come in and see me talking to a purple circle and a man called ma'am. Completely understandable, Josh. So, bye for now, Mr. Announcer Man. And Barney, see you around. <laughs> Oh, funny, Josh, but if you come to our website, watch out for my brother, Brutus. Why? Is he mean? Mean? He's a vicious circle! <laughs> <laughs> and when you need help with your asthma, remember to breathe easy with the Breathe's Bunch from DeVilbus Healthcare. Visit us online at breathesbunch.com. Bye! Bye! Bye.
Bye-bye.